up before our eyes. Oh. My gosh. You know what's so great and so lucky for you, Emma, is that you never had an awkward stage. <laughs> really? No, you did not go through it. You oh. were just a beautiful nine-year-old and then a beautiful teenager and now a beautiful young woman. Thank you. That's really nice. <laughs> Fact, that is about to start college. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, at the end of August. I and you're, you're coming to somewhere to an Ivy League school here in the United States, huh? Well, good yes, for you. If you'll have me. <laughs> oh, sure we will. Uh, you're not going to choose an, a British school, though, huh? No, I, um, I wanted to come here. <laughs> for, for any particular reason? Because I did um, I did a course at RADA last year, and three quarters of the students were American, mm -hmm. and um, I was they were kind of talking to me about what they were doing at college, and I just they just sounded so much fun, you know. It was just they had so much choice, and you know, in the UK we have to study one subject for three years, and Is you guys get right? to do loads of different things. I you mean you've got to make up your mind about your profession exactly. or whatever? Exactly. Yeah. Very, wow. you know, at 18 or 19, and I was like, I don't know what I want to study yet. Most, most so, kids don't. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's interesting. Welcome uh, to, uh, to Ivy League schools. Here. They're, they're all great schools. It's fascinating to me, though, you have this amazing career and you're still focused on your studies. I think it's a great example. Thank you. Yeah, no, I, for me, I don't know, I just, I always, like, when there's a craziness with Harry Potter and everything, having school really kind of grounded me and it was a really nice escape and comfort and, you know, I just, I love it, so. It was tough making those movies, I imagine, huh? She's still making them. I, I still right, am. Yeah. I yeah. still am, yeah. We're in the middle of the um, seventh film. We've just finished part one and we're about to start part mm -hmm. two, so it's... Yeah, still busy. But you've been, been on vacation. You went down to Cancun, Mexico. I did. I went to Mexico in January. I took a holiday. First time? Yes. It was my first time. And what was it like? <clears throat> um, she wants to assimilate herself into the American college kid's way of life. Well, right away. <laughs> well, that's a must, Cancun. <laughs> no one warned me. No one warned me. I was just like, I. my friend took me out one night and... Uh, one night is enough for a lifetime, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, what insane. happened to Emma? <laughs> I know, it was, uh... Whew, yeah, you guys like to party. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, can't go there, really do party. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Do. I went down to the Ixtapa in Mexico for a bit of a, for a, bit of a chill out after mm. that experience. Yeah, there's a lot to see down there. Is there a favorite? You've traveled everywhere, I'm thinking, on, on Earth now. <laughs> um, is there, do you have a favorite place to go? Um... Gosh, my f I, I was born in France, and I always love going back because mm. it always feels like kind of a second home, and it's I feel quite nostalgic. But um, yeah, I mean, I love going to new places. You know, it's nice going back places, but I love exploring. Well, where is home for you right now? Where where, where do you live? Um, actually, I moved out of my parents' house. You um, did. I did. I'm living in a flat in Hampstead, so I can be near the film studio. So I'm, oh, I'm living alone for the first that's time. That's good oh for the first gosh. time. What's that yeah. like? Yeah. Um, it has good points and bad points. Um, I've had a couple of cooking disasters. Um, <laughs> quite a lot of my clothes turn different colours. Um, but uh, it's nice. Oh, no, sure. it's good. Well, anyway, uh, we've been having the people on the show. You know, we had Rupert here the other day. You called him the Grint Man. Uh, well, I love him. Grint Man. The Grint yeah. Man. The Grint yeah, man. he's quite a character, isn't he? He is. Yeah. And you, but you grew up with these two boys. Yes, I did. Mm. They're, they're like my brothers. Everyone's asking me how I was, how I found the kiss that we have to do in the last film. And right. It's very strange because it, genuinely he's like my big brother. But I mean, at one time or another during the ten years or so that you all worked together, did you develop even a juvenile crush on one of them. I had, I confess, I had a bit of a crush on uh, Tom Felton when I was younger in the early films. Oh, the yeah. Yeah. Um, Did Tom know this? Oh yeah, it was so obvious. <laughs> it was so obvious. <laughs> it was, it was very, very obvious. Um, but never one down in Rupert. They were always just my friends. Uh huh. All right, good enough. We'll take a break. We'll come back. Show you a clip. <laughs> Still ahead on live, you won't want to miss some of the finalists in our celebrity lookalike search. Harry Potter movies that you've loved over the years. Mm. Currently, uh, are you ma currently making your seventh? Yes. But the one that's uh, uh, opening now is number six. Number six. 
In other words, they took uh, two halves of one of her books, right? Yes, yeah. the last book was so big that we had to make it into two films, not So one. how many are there going to be when you're all done? Eight? There are going to be eight Harry Potter films. And you have worked consistently on these films? Yes. And so are you looking forward to the final day of shooting or when it's all over? Or are you going to miss it? It's, it, I think it'll be really strange. It will be bittersweet. I think on the one hand, it'll be like desperately sad because, you know, something that my life has revolved around for, you know, for more than half of my life mm -hmm. um, will be over. And then on the other hand, you know, I can't wait to come to college and I can't wait to try new things and new projects. And, you know, I think we're ready to go and do new stuff. So. But, but this doesn't mean you're going to end your film career, or does it? No, it doesn't. It doesn't at all. I, um, I've always kind of balanced school and work, and I, I want to try and keep doing that. Mm. If there was one other thing besides acting, yeah. that you could do right now. Yeah. One other thing, what would it be? Um, I'd be a makeup artist. <laughs> I'm not, no I, kidding. Yeah, I really love it. I, it's just, I love to paint and draw. I'd be an artist or a makeup artist, one of the two. I love, um, I love creative stuff like that. You know, the grit man could use a little more makeup. <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk to him about that. Maybe he'll let me, let me near him. Well, shall we take a look at a clip now? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, uh, uh, you and uh, Harry are uh, talking about your upcoming dance. Yes. Let's take a look at the scene now. Here's Hermione. Yeah. It's so good to see you. Thank you so much Lovely for coming. And the movie, Harry Potter, opens on Wednesday, okay? We're going to have a celebrity look alike.